Hey there, Joey from PowerhouseAffiliate.com. Today, I'm going to dive in and create an ad campaign starting with $200. It's going to be a native ads campaign. We're going to see if I do everything right, if we can turn that $200 into $10,000. So if you want to see everything from start to finish, how I'm going to do this, please tune into this video and watch it now. Don't forget to hit that like button as well if you like these types of videos. Keeps me motivated to keep going, okay? So here we go, we're gonna go in and we're gonna set up this campaign. We're gonna go from start to finish and some of you are gonna see the exact results and whether this is possible, especially if you do everything right. All right, so without wasting any time, let me just say it is Q4, so I'm going to be focusing on e-commerce types of offers. These are pretty much just basic products that you can find on most CPA affiliate networks. Go out there and search e-com, you're gonna see that, okay? We're gonna use Rev Content as the ad platform today, and I've seen a ton of ads on Rev Content, so this is a great opportunity. I'm gonna show you some great ads, some landing pages. You're gonna see all of that in this video. I'm gonna try and make it quick, okay? And then uh, we'll talk about how you can see the results of this test. Let's get started. First things first, this is Adplexity. It is a tool I use when I wanna start um, my research, okay? So go to Powerhouse Affiliate dot com slash adplexity and you will be able to get a 35 percent discount off of this you can see here that now i can come in here and i can basically see what everybody is doing on native ads they also have a push ads tool that you can use as well that i will use in the future when i do push ads videos as well but the first things i want to do the first thing i want to do is see what people are running in terms of e-com, especially during Q4. So I've decided to go with a listicle style campaign. So I'm gonna be looking for a type, a, a type of listicle. Now when I say listicle, you're like, what is that? It's a, it's a list, but it looks like an article. So it looks like content that people wanna consume. So they'll see an ad and they'll, and they'll be like 20 gadgets that will sell out before Christmas or something like that. And they will come to my, my page and hopefully one of the 20 gadgets is something they're interested in. They'll click that. They'll go to another landing page, which is the sales page, which eventually, hopefully, they make it to the sale. So let me just show you a quick example of that. Here is a listicle. You can see these uh, must-have gadgets or must-have gadget gifts that will definitely sell out before Christmas. We'll talk about landing pages in a second, but this is just so you know, number one, number two, and it keeps going down and down and down, okay? They all link to affiliate offers. So let's have a look at Adplexity and see if we can find some more so that we can decide if there's a better style of page. So the first thing I would do is come into Adplexity and perhaps you want to start with the days running. Um, so I'm going to go 10 days. If an ad has been running for 10 days, I want to see it on my list here. Also, I'm going to come down and since all of my offers are for the United States, in this case, I'm going to select the United States. And then last, I am going to come down and I'm going to select the traffic source rev content. So now all I'm going to see are ads running in the United States for the last 10 days on Rev Content. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different types of offers being run. There's an e-commerce offer there, which is a knee pain type of offer. You can see here are the coolest gifts of 2021, getting closer to what I wanna do here. Um, and you can see this one has been running for 11 days on Rev Content. They're targeting tablet, Android, desktop. And if I click on this, I can get even more details, which we're going to do here in a second. Just want to go through and see that people are actually doing this. So you can see here some more cool gifts of 2021, 44 of the coolest gadgets. The list goes on and on. And some people have even just filtered out and started doing single product ads here as well. And you can see there's a ton of hits. So without wasting any time basically you get the idea here you can come in you can set your filters so now let's pick one of these just for fun and see what kind of information we would get if we go one level deeper what you can also do once you find an ad is you can start searching specifically by this one advertiser so you would click up here or if you find a publisher that has a bunch of ads you could select the publisher and see the placement and what everyone is advertising on that one placement or publisher really cool that way so here we are, uh, big affiliate here, the Wallet Guru. I've seen many of their ads. You can also select similar ads and it'll start searching for more ads if they have any. In this case, the, it's not showing any, but um, coming down, 
Um, you can see they've been running this consistently every day for the last, I guess, 10 days. You can see the trend during the week. It looks like on Sunday and Monday, it seems to be higher. So maybe those are better days. You can see the top publishers that they are getting conversions from, or maybe they're not getting conversions from, but this is where they're being seen the most. So I'm assuming that's where I would want to target. Uh, coming down, I can see also it is rev content and that here's some more publishers I can target. And if I look at this, you can see most of their traffic is uh, mobile. So two thirds of their traffic would be on mobile. So they probably um, are doing better on mobile, but you never know. It's something that you would definitely want to test. So now again, I can look at their landing page. I can click on it and it'll basically be the same type of landing page that I'm running. So that is how I'm going to find my ads, my landing page, but I want to be a little more creative when I start to create my ads. So I'm not going to do the exact same thing, but I will be using images that look amateur. That is the key here. You can see these are amateur images and maybe it's one of the gadgets on the page itself that I'm promoting. And also I'm going to be using different headlines like you're going to miss out or delivery is fast. Make sure all these things you could say in your ad. Okay, so moving on, now we know what we wanna do. We wanna create our landing page. If you don't have a landing page, you need to create one and you need to create a listicle, which is very time consuming, but the people that do it probably make more money. If you look here, you're gonna see as we go down, some people have a ton of gadgets on there, like 44 gadgets. The more gadgets you have, the more opportunity there is that somebody is actually going to click one and purchase the gadget. So if you put seven gadgets on your listicle, don't blame me because you didn't convert. I'm thinking you need at least 15 to 20 and these people that are doing more are just basically increasing their odds. Okay, so the, the tool you can use here is Optimize Press. Again, there's a link in the description or go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash Optimize Press. It allows you to create templates and, and super fast web pages for WordPress that you can use for landing pages, okay? It's very affordable and basically you don't need to have a degree in design to make really nice pages okay and that's all i'm going to say about optimized press i use it a lot now if you don't want to use optimized press we do have some templates inside powerhouse affiliate you can see here we have an e-commerce listicle you can download we also have i think there's another one up here for um, we have a bunch anyway. We have a whole bunch of different templates you can download. These are HTML and we have some optimized press ones as well that you can use for your campaigns if you choose to do that. I could do a whole video on how to set up a landing page. I'm not going to do that right now, but um, check out the training. We have free training at Powerhouse Affiliate for that. Okay, so now that we have our landing page set up, our listicle, we have our offers that we got from our CPA affiliate network. They're all on our page. It's all ready to go. What do we do next? We go to Rev Content and we set up an ad. You can see here I have $200 here ready to spend. So we're gonna go in and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a campaign boost. So what we wanna call it here is Gadget Listicle 2021Q4, okay? So that's what we'll call this one. And we're gonna go with cost per click as our bid type, okay? The other one you could do cost uh, per mil or CPM, but I'm just gonna go with cost per click. And for the United States, I'm going to start here. The higher you bid, the better placements you get. Um, but of course, the more you spend, and if you're on some bad placements, you're going to lose all of your money. And $200, you really don't have a lot of wiggle room here. So that we're gonna see if it's possible to even make it with $200. So I'm gonna start with 45 cents. I'm gonna go daily cap. Basically, I could probably spend this over two days. They say minimum uh, $100 a day. So really, you're taking a shot in the dark. This just goes to show that you really need a big budget if you want to test, really, really test on native ads. But we're gonna see what happens here, okay? So pacing, we're gonna go on. So we're gonna make sure that our ads are running all throughout the day, not just instantly spend my $100, okay? And we're going to want to track our conversions. So conversion tracking is important here. You can take this uh, pixel and you can put it onto your network. So I've already done that. And you just create your pixel and you copy it and bring it to your CPA affiliate network and place it in there. So I don't have to do that. Start date immediately, or I could maybe wait till I 
find a day that I think would work best. So maybe the weekend or Sunday or Monday, like we saw on Adplexity. I'm just going to start now. Why not? So here I have the option to choose my traffic type. I'm going to do native ads. And I want to include just the United States. All regions, all zip codes, all cities. And I'm going to separate my device targeting. And we're just going to go with mobile and tablet for now because of the fact that I've only got $100 and I'm pretty sure that the mobile and tablet will be cheaper clicks. So I'll have a better opportunity here, hopefully, to get some conversions. English only. Now for the UTM, I like to track all of the other stuff here. So I'm gonna select these three boxes and I'm gonna send that stuff to my tracking. Um, we didn't cover tracking here because it'll take too long. So I'm just gonna save this. Now it's going to ask me to create an ad, okay? So I have a bunch of ads that I've run or am running right now. As you can see here, these pull up my ads, but I wanna create a new one here. So I'm just gonna create add, new ad. Here's where I'm gonna put my tracking link. If you're not using a third party tracker, then you're screwed, okay? Okay, so my link is in there. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add an image and a headline, okay? So I'm gonna try and create something um, that's urgent and I can also you can see here I have some sample ads that I've ran in the past I like to use state targeting um, or city or, or stuff like that so dynamically inserting those things sometimes helps people click on it so 16 coolest gifts in state that will sell out before Christmas or something. 16 coolest gifts um, available in. Now you gotta be careful here not to go over the amount of characters here, okay? Um, especially if you're using dynamic insertion and somebody uses one of the longer state names. So you gotta be careful. 16 cool gifts. So I'm gonna give myself three more characters here. 16 cool gifts available in New York that will sell out before Christmas or something. That's what it's going to do when, no matter where they are. Brand name, we're going to put my brand name here. And then we're going to change the photo. So let's change the photo to one of the gadget picks here. See if there's anything that's really cool here. I don't know if there is one. Um, oh, there's one. I like that. Okay, let's try that. Let's save this. So let's change that. See, when you do something that's more sensational, it gives you a better click-through rate. Somebody's gonna see that knife and they're gonna Im immediately look and say, what is that, okay? 16 cool gifts available in New York that will sell out before Christmas, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my brand name here and we're going to submit the ad. So you can see now the ad is pending, so I'm gonna wait and basically there is no real targeting I can do aside from my blacklist, which I've created at an account level. This will only be something you can create over time, or you can contact your account manager if you have one, ask them to give you a blacklist of all the crappy widgets out there. You can see here, I already have some automatically added, 14 of them. I have other widgets available here, um, account levels. You can see, actually, this is a different account. I have another account with thousands of widgets on it. I should probably go over there and copy them and put them in here, actually. That's what I am going to do right now, but I won't do it on this video. So do you want to see the results of this? Do you want to see everything uh, the behind the scenes, how I optimize, all of that stuff? Then come into Powerhouse Affiliate. You can join free and come into our forum and discuss and talk about it. Or you can check out the premium membership where you're going to get access to all of my case studies, all of the other case studies I've done similar to this. You're going to see the ads, the landing page, the actual placements, everything, how much I spent, how many conversions I got, all of that discussed in there. And that'll be done tomorrow once we see what happens here today when I spend this $100, okay? So come on in, check it out. Um, and if you like this video and you want more videos that show how to set up campaigns and ideas for campaigns, make sure you subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.